This is Metal DMZ with a short announcement video. Uh, hey, Jason, can you hear me? Oh, let me try to see. Okay, uh, try now. Yo, what up, guys? Jason L. Zion here, and I am here today with... I'm so drunk! Wait, what? Oh, shit. Hello? Jason? Jason? Let's see, let's... What's going on here? Okay, there we go. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> oh, guys, I'm so drunk, it's unreal. Fuck, I have work in the morning. I have work in eight hours. German. Dark Daniels is awesome. <laughs> the fuck is that shitty music, man? Oh, my days. Yo, what up, guys? X has an X. How are we doing today? Over to you, Nick. You just hang up. Alright, well, let's get this thing on. So, here we are with Ipswich version 2.0. You should be able to update and just play from where you left off, but I would suggest starting from a fresh save and, like, a pre Ipswich game save, and just going from there, just to minimize the possibility of everything going wrong. That said, Ipswich is basically done. Any future updates will just be clerical bug fixes or quality of life changes. Small stuff. This brings us to our next topic, future projects. So we've got some pretty big stuff lined up and have made a few changes to the original Team Tomorrow formula. First, we can now make full use of the creation kit and don't have to rely on the old save game concept. This has significantly changed our development cycle and as a result, we've restructured and added a few new members. So this is what the process looks like now. As always, it starts with an idea, maybe a picture or concept, something small. You'd be surprised how simple some of our inspirations have been. It's at this stage that we all get together and spitball some ideas and potential game mechanics. A group brainstorm is the best way to put it, but we're really just building the skeleton at this point. From here, we pass it to our lead writer and lore expert, Mashaxi. He's responsible for really fleshing out the storyline and pulling together our nebulous ideas into a coherent storyline progression. But I'd like to emphasize that we're all in contact with each other at each and every stage of development, but this is really where Mashaxi takes the reins. After the bulk of the world design has been created, the documents are then passed to me, the lead design. This is where the rubber meets the road and the world is created based on what Mashax has put together. Except for Ipswich, that was a one-off solely by me, but to prime you all for some of the lore in Buzzards Bay. Oh, Jason's calling again. Hey man, what's up? When I drink, I feel so fucking drunk, it's not real, man. What have I done? Honestly, I'm a lightweight. I can't handle my fucking whiskey. Oh, yeah? Guys, this is uh, documentation one. Uh, 10 to 1 p.m. And I start working only a few hours, realistically. Six, seven... Well, well if it's one o'clock, then it's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm. I've got to be up for eight, so that's seven hours sleep. Guys, I feel like... I feel like... Like I have no control over my body or my mind. Or my eyes, especially my eyes. Okay. I have no control over where I look. I have no control it. over okay. how I move. Guys, alcohol is the devil. <laughs> but now I'm so drunk that I feel like if I stand up, I'm going to fall on the floor. And not in a good way. If there is such a thing. <laughs> Guys, I'm drunk. But like... Hyper mega uber drunk. I mean, we're like I almost done with this. So. I am non compass mentis. <laughs> okay, okay, no. <laughs> we're, al we're almost done with this. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll call you back, man. Alright, where were we? Lost my place. Oh, okay, here we go. Level designers. In tandem with LGMX Admin and Neurosis, we'll be constructing the world for you to explore. LGMX Admin and Neurosis are both level designers, but they each have different jobs. So LGMX Admin is our Xbox liaison, while Neurosis is our PlayStation liaison. This is mainly for optimization purposes and to assure cross-platform functionality. And finally, we've got our boy Jason, XLs and X. He's responsible for public relations, quality assurance, and mainly keeping us all in line throughout the whole process. You know how it is. At this moment in time, he's doing some field research for us, but once he gets back, the YouTube videos will start sounding familiar. So that's the crash course of our new development structure, but we're also going to be looking into new ways to stay in touch with everyone. 
In fact, we'd like to take this opportunity to expand Team Dramora even further. These projects that we have lined up are vastly more complex and overall just bigger than anything we've ever done before. As such, we could use your help in creating the next great console mod, which will also be available for PC. Now, I know what you're thinking. DMZ, I don't have Fallout 4 for the PC, and even if I did, my potato computer couldn't even run it. Or maybe you've been dabbling in the creation kit and you couldn't quite get the hang of it. It's kind of unfortunate, but you know what? There's still tons of ways for you to help out. Let me give you a few examples that you might not have thought of. Writers. If Switch took a decent amount of time for me to write, and that was a small project. The big stuff that we have planned will be exponentially more work. In this role, you'd be working with Mashoxi and creating the story that people get to play through. We've also got a lot of voice actors lined up, but we could always use more. So if you wanted to do someone unique, or maybe you just wanted to do some generic raider dialogue and kind of get crazy with it, we can hook you up. The one that almost everyone forgets about is the game mechanic specialists. Let me give an example. I'm trying to make a quest do something, but I'm just hitting a wall. I don't know what the hell the problem is. At this point, I'd consult one of the specialists to see if it's either A, something that's already in the game, or B, something close that I can use as a reference. Bethesda games are huge, so it's always good to have people around that have explored the really out of the way stuff that I haven't gotten to yet. And if you're someone that just needs some help figuring out the creation kit, don't worry, we can help. The more people we have on board, the more ridiculous we can make the mods. So if you want to be part of something big, something that will revolutionize console modding, why not join us in creating something spectacular? Check out our Facebook linked in the description. We'd love to have you on board. Oh, you just sent me a Facebook message. Good night, my American buddies. <laughs> Good night. If this is the end, I love you all. Oh, damn, I should ask him to do the, um... Peace! Well, I guess that works out, doesn't it? Actually, let me edit one of those in, just to, just to end the video off. Okay, here we go. Alright, everyone, this is Metal DMZ, signing off. Jason? Peace!